Hello ladies and gentlemen and this is Delando Designs here and today I am going to show you how to make a logo just like this. Okay, so let's get started right away by making a new and name and making it 30 by not 30, I mean 300, sorry. 300 by 300 and clicking OK. Next, let's make a new layer and then uncheck the background. Now, let's choose a rectangular selection tool and then choose anywhere on it and draw a square. Be sure to hold shift when you do it. Okay, that's about right. Um, let me try this again because I want to make it even. Um, there we go, that looks fine. Okay, so, now that we have this square, we can, we're going to want to make this any color that you want that to be, those lines right there. Um, so, choose any color that you want it to be. You know, I'm going to go for a, a light blue. Okay, then choose a magic, or not the magic, uh, the the paint bucket scroll up by doing control and then use your mouse the mouse click derp derp what what's going on here <laughs> but anyways so once you have done that you'll get a blue square um and so yeah next what you're going to want to do is go to layers and click rotate and zoom and then change this angle to 45 degrees and this is zoom to I think about 77 does it good and click OK so now we have a diamond kinda like this one right now let's go straight to um not effects actually now we're going to cop duplicate this one by clicking, clicking duplicate layer and then going to layers rotate and zoom and then reset this one and bring this one actually no you don't need to do anything just reset that one and click OK now what you can do is make this black again your primary zoom in and make that outline black so now as you can see at 100% it's black but if you look very very closely there's a tiny fade of blue now I don't know if that matters to you guys or not but so yeah next you're gonna fill that in with a black and next go to effects object or not not object blurs Gaussian blur and bring that to about one and click OK now if you want you can do the same to the blue which is what I'm going to do effects blurs Gaussian blur one okay so now that we have this it's kinda of starting to look a little similar maybe maybe not probably not yeah <laughs> probably not but uh, if we um, draw a square actually if we can yeah if we draw a square on this the blue diamond layer um, not holding shift making it about right here I would say um, yeah that's a, that's pretty good um, yeah that's that's fine so then yeah you choose the magic wand tool select it and click delete delete that's delete that's delete that's and delete that and then lastly delete the square we'll get that part right there next what we're going to want to do is on the same layer go to effects object and outline object the the red one the one by pyro child uh what is that Uh, huh. Whatever was that was, I'm not sure. Huh. 
Well, anyways, so you're going to want to outline this at about 250. Have the softness 254 and the uh, the width to uh, width one width 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 whatever. <laughs> uh, makes this blend normally. Yeah, normally. And click OK. So now we have this pretty cool little thing here. But we're not done yet. As you can see there's a gradient back there. So what you're going to do now is merge these two together. And then choose a selection tool. Or the uh, magic wand. Select the black square. And then zoom in. There. And two of these. Choose the... Uh, the color picker and click uh, the very inside of these lines here and that will be your primary color uh... bring this back to 100 there we go and set the secondary as a black choose the gradient tool and the diamond tool for obvious reasons and then hold shift and try to click in the very middle of it uh -huh and drag backwards or downwards until the very tip of the, this blue dash right here and release everything and click deselect then there you go now we have that great that very nice diamond gradient in the background lastly lastly we are going to add the text so to add the text click the text shortcut tool and type in some text inside the diamond I'm gonna make it about 96 maybe no too big 84 that fits then let's change the fonts to whatever you want there's hundreds and hundreds of fonts uh, that you can choose from basically any font fits make sure that the color is white uh, the primary color white and then you could add any any font that you want that would you that you would like it to be um, no, it's pretty boring. Um, 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 let's see. Hmm. Uh, I do have this one in mind. It's this one. You know what? Why? Why not? Uh, which one do you guys like more? That one or that one? Which? font. I'm going to use this one. Let's make this a bit bigger. There we go. Okay, now the coolest part is to go to the properties, then change the mode to overlay, and you will get this awesome effect right there. It looks pretty sweet if you ask me. Um, I'm going to change this to what I had on the other one because it takes a lot more effects. Actually, no, I'm not. It's just because of the colors. But anyways, guys, so yeah, that's about it. If you want to change the colors of it because you decided that you don't really like it, this this color, go ahead and merge these two together like that. Go to Adjustments and then go to Hue and Saturation Plus, 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 Plus. And then change it to whatever color you would like it to. I like it as a nice almost orange color uh, not like that one because that one is like completely opposite but anyways guys that's about it for now don't forget to comment like subscribe for more tutorials like these do you think i should be doing more paint.net tutorials uh, cinema 4d tutorials logo tutorials intro tutorials whatever you want me to do i'll try my best to do it speed arts who knows so anyways guys don't forget to comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys later peace